it is election season, which means that you will hear lots of catchphrases like give back the land, give back the money, stop white monopoly capital, stop white genocide, genoeg is genoeg, and many other tired political slogans. Now the groups behind these political slogans are usually very good at describing the problem, but less keen to provide practical solutions to the problem they so love to describe. If you are part of that group, then you have somehow managed to momentarily escape your echo chamber and you must contact Google immediately and tell them to only show you stuff that will reinforce your prejudice. As for the rest of you, you're in for a treat because we are going to visit the guys at Limpopo Dairy. These guys are not just talking about land reform, but actively doing it. They are not just uh, complaining, but intentionally seeking solutions. Let's go meet them. Welcome to the Popo Dairies here outside Lentrichard in the Limpopo province. We milk just over 800 cows, just over 600 goats. We have a staff complement, just close to 500 people. Um, we do not only have farm laborers. We have skilled people, operators, food technologists, because we process all our raw material ourselves. Yeah, a few years ago, um, as shareholders of the business, we sat down and discussed what, what is it that we want to achieve and we've always been uh, very pro our own people, community, workers and we decided to take action and, and, and we, we created a we benefit trust, uh, the neighboring farm came into market, we bought that farm into a company where our employees own majority share of that, of that uh, farm um, and that, that was before this whole hype about land in South Africa became a, a, a discussing point. So, yeah, we believe that we must make a difference with our own people and our own community. We can't change anything that happens in different parts of the country. We can make an impact here. And hopefully that will show other people what can be done. So the Employee Benefit Trust is created for our employees. There are obviously certain rules according to the trust deed. Employees who are employed for a certain amount of time are automatically becoming beneficiaries of the trust. So the principle is, you will work for the company, you do your job uh, and develop yourself where you're doing it now and you'll automatically be a beneficiary for a possible dividend coming out of the, the new business being created. Employees have the opportunity to grow into this new company and then eventually one day start a business of their own because they have all this experience and, and training through our current businesses. It is our dream to see uh, farmers coming out of our, our system, our company, that can become farmers on their own one day, own their own land, work their land. The benefit with us is obviously they come through our own hands. We can help, well, we, the plan is to help them give them off-take agreements, whatever they produce, whatever they can produce for the company, to empower them to become entrepreneurs and farmers on their own. Yeah, you can criticize government, you can criticize commercial white farmers, you can criticize farm workers, you can do all of that. And you can be a keyboard warrior, but you don't make a difference. I believe that what we do is we make a difference. Uh, we make a practical difference that you can touch you can see and hopefully there will be good diamonds coming out of our system that we all as a country can be proud of because that's real development, that's real empowerment. I'm from Uber Furi from Limpopo Dairy and uh, I'm one of the family business, one of the sons uh, running the business. Uh, to upcoming emerging farmers, uh, I'll send a message out. So we started very small with 15 cows in the herd Today we're milking 800, over 800 cows, but it took a long process to do it. It's not just overnight and it's hard work and perseverance and so don't think everything come easy. Um, you have to, to put your heart in it and, and willing to work very hard to, to get somewhere. I think it's uh, it's important for for us to 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 say to government that we don't want to be the enemy. We want to take hands with the black emerging farmers to be and help them to be successful and to be part of their success. Stop worrying about what goes on in different 
places in the country, you will make an impact in your own community and people will come and learn from you and that's the way we we'll change this country. I don't want to tell other farmers or farming communities what they must do, but I do believe that being positive and to build relationships between black and white, um, that we as a country and as a people can, can, can become who we believe we can be. Uh, will be magnificent if we can get that right. And I want to encourage them to, to really go the extra mile, to make it work in their community, because that's where the value is. Uh, we can't change other things in other part of, parts of the country, um, but we, we can change where we are and what we do.